Oh, I'm actually getting a little full already, but I'm gonna power through. Konnichiwa everyone, today I'm going to take you to three different convenience stores in Tokyo. I'm also going to show you what food and goods they have and what else you can do there. Plus, there will be a mini food haul and review at the end of this video. So, what's it like in a Japanese convenience store? And do the Japanese really put the word convenience in convenience stores? Let me show you. My name is Hannah, and this is What You Hannah Do, Japanese convenience stores. What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you? I don't know about you guys, but when I was back home, I rarely went to convenience stores. I would go if I was like craving for a soft serve ice cream or something, but that's it. So if I needed chips or food, I'd often go to a supermarket or a restaurant instead. Here in Japan though, I find myself going to a lot of convenience stores, even maybe like three or four times a week before going to work. I think convenience stores are quite massive here in Japan, especially in Tokyo, since it's super fast paced. Everyone is just trying to get from point A to point B in lightning speed, so having a family mart near your office or your apartment is, well, really convenient. Easy, fast, take it and go. They are everywhere. Some of them are literally across from each other, and some are even only a few steps apart. There are a little over 56,000 convenience stores in Japan. 7,000 of which are in Tokyo alone. Today, I chose to go to a 7-Eleven, a Family Mart, and a Lawson because they have the most number of stores in Tokyo. Without further ado, first up, 7-Eleven. Seven Dendai Holdings! I love how they bring out this stuff, especially during winter. Because people sometimes when they're biking and things, they lose their gloves. I know I've lost one while I was biking, so it's convenient. <laughs> These are hot packs. You carry them with you when you feel cold. Laundry detergent. Whoa, 7-Eleven has their own brand of detergent. I actually didn't even know that. And they have a selection of drinks. Actually, here in Japan, you can drink in public. Like a friend of mine actually used to play this game called Kombini Run, where she and her friends would go to a major street walking home, and then they'd have to buy a can of something, kind of beer or kind of chew high every single time they saw a convenience store and then just see who the strongest is and if they can get home. We have highball. Ooh, they even have sake here. What? This is my area right here. This is super strong lemon. The demon lemon. They have a really good selection of shochu, which is Japanese liquor. Ooh. And whiskey. I'm not really a fan of whiskey though. Are you guys fans of whiskey? Honestly, I was never a bread person until I moved to Japan. Their bread selection is amazing. Uh, I've actually tried all of these, but I'm gonna look for something that I haven't tried before. I'm trying to look for something distinctly Japanese, but I can't really find anything. This is apple and custard cream, not really Japanese, but I really want it. I'm also looking at this cheese cream pie, but ah, this also looks good. Ooh. Blonde chocolate and caramel. What does blonde mean? I don't know, but let's give that a try. 
This is a super popular anime right now. This is from Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. Have you ever heard of it? It's all the kids at my school talk about. I even have some kids at school who make something like this and have it in their mouths the whole time. It's very strange, but yeah. Aside from the food and goods, most convenience stores have ATMs. It's hard to find ATMs around Japan that accept non-Japanese cards, but most convenience store ATMs, especially 7-Eleven, accept major credit cards. In Tokyo, that is. It might be harder in rural areas. Another cool thing you can do at a convenience store is pay for your bills. So every month, I come here with my national health insurance bill and I just put it in the counter and I pay for it. I have to click this OK button in the cashier and then that's basically it. And then they stamp it and then they give it back to me. Next up, Lawson. Ranking third in number, Lawson has 1,699 stores in Tokyo. So they usually have some novelty drinks like this. Uh, they have like brown sugar milk tapioca. It's not the best, but if you're really craving, it's not so bad. And during winter, they also have like hot beverages. It's really cool when you're walking outside just to be Kind of hold this in your hand especially when you're feeling really cold and you don't have a pair of gloves that's the trick I have a wide selection of yogurt oh need some cold cuts oh my god they even have natto jeez i hate these things I have a friend back home who asked me the difference between convenience stores and grocery stores like supermarkets and I guess you can basically cook a decent meal with the things they have. I didn't want this video to be a competition between the three stores because in my opinion there's really not much of a difference. There is one big difference for people like me though who love Ghibli. For the Ghibli fans out there you can only get your tickets for the Ghibli Museum in Tokyo at a Lawson. No other place. Lawson or through a Lawson application for your smartphone. Bigger sized convenience stores will usually also have what they call an eat in counter, where you can use their free Wi Fi and also a place to heat up your store bought food. Food will have a specific ideal time printed on the packaging so that you know how long to put it in the microwave for. Some convenience stores also have shipping services like this one and also receiving services. So if you're away or won't be able to receive your package from Amazon on time, you can have it sent to your nearest convenience store and they can keep it for you for up to a week. Cool, right? Now back to the food. I think I'm gonna get onigiri. I, what is this? What is this? Mm. Some Japanese pasta? Cod roll. Cod roll pasta. Would you want to try that? Ooh, soba sounds good too. This thing is so cute! Oh my gosh! How am I supposed to eat this? Anime lovers out there! Oh, they even have card capture. This. And a mini one! Oh, speaking of prices, there's usually two different prices that they have. So this one below is with tax. So some convenience stores actually offer duty-free shopping, so all you have to do is show your passport. If you've never tried Japanese instant noodles before, I suggest you go to your local like Japanese area and get some because it's so good. Okay, so this is really cool. They have a self-checkout where you can do the things by yourself. So you can't pay by cash. 
So today I'll be choosing electronic money. So I'm going to use Suica to do it. I'm going to click on... Okay. I'm going to buy one plastic. Click OK. everything this is how much you're going to be paying okay. wow i really took my time in there on to the next for right now i'm at a place in tokyo called daikanyama which is a very fashionable area in tokyo Honestly, there are a lot of family marts close to where I live, but I wanted to take you to this particular family mart because it's really cool. So since Daikanyama is a fashionable place and I'm in an area called Teesite, they try to fit in the place as much as they can. Take a look. That sign reads Famima, which is short for Family Mart or Famimato. Family Mart ranks second in number with 2,451 stores in Tokyo. Don't forget to sanitize! This certain Family Mart is inside a bookstore, hence the fancy stationery for sale. Cup noodles! What kind of cup noodles do you have? We have cheese curry, tom yum. Which is not really Japanese, but pretty good. Chili tomato. Original. Which is a miso flavor. They even have big sizes. Love these. And a mini size! Most convenience stores also have a photocopying machine where you can, of course, photocopy, scan, print photos, and fax documents. Yes, you heard it right, fax. Japan is pretty high tech, but we still use fax machines a lot here. So to get coffee, first you have to buy yourself a coffee cup. It's around 100, 40 or 50 yen. Then you're gonna take your cup, you're gonna put it in this really cool coffee machine. You're gonna choose the one that you paid for, which is hot coffee standard, and then you're gonna wait. So usually you have to wait for the dots to go down from, from here down to make sure that the coffee is ready. Aside from hot coffee, they also have iced coffee, they have iced latte, iced cafe latte, they also have frap, iced drinks, hot cafe latte, and a mocha blend. All you have to do is push one of these buttons right here. The coffee is almost ready. So once the coffee is not yet ready, it doesn't open up. It's locked, but once it's ready and makes that sound, then you can open it up. And you're good to go. You also have everything you need here. It's written down, so they have iced coffee, frappe, hot coffee, and hot soft drinks. And they also have your cream and your gum syrup. It's really cool when they have their own collection because it becomes quite cheap. They have choco sticks. I really love this one. It has a custard inside, like a white chocolate custard inside, which is really, really good. Uh, ooh, I've always wanted to try these, but it feels really unhealthy. <laughs> and they also have their own chips. Highly recommend these ones. Um, it's a spicy taco flavor. Really, really good. 
you do get to come here, highly recommended. What do you think? Aren't Japanese convenience stores awesome? They have a variety of food you'd want if you're hungry, and also a ton of options for small emergencies. They even have dress shirts, neckties, and stockings in various colors and sizes. Aside from buying delicious food or fixing small emergencies, you can pay for your bills, buy tickets, use an ATM, use photocopying machines, use their free Wi-Fi, have them ship and receive packages for you, and last but not least, they have pretty clean restrooms as well. So yeah, I love Japanese convenience stores. So is this the best coffee I've ever had? Not really, but hey, it's a spot. It's good enough. Anyway, we got our stuff and we're gonna go. I'll show you what we have back home and we'll see you later. Whew. And just like that, I'm back home with this food haul. Wow, honestly, I've never bought this much ever. This is not for one person, not even for two people. It's, it's a party right here. Man, my body is not gonna like it tomorrow, but my mouth is gonna enjoy this. So I just wanted to start by introducing what I got today. Um, I wanted to get something quite unique to Japan, something that you'd only find in Japanese convenience stores here. Here we go. Let's start with... Start with this, I guess. So this is instant noodles. It's a tonkotsu type of ramen. And we have here a yaki soba, which is like a abura soba. Abura soba. This one you have to drain the water before eating it. Because it's yaki soba. Yaki means like grilled. It's kind of like you cook it on like a hot plate. So I'm gonna have that. We also have this, which is like chicken poppers, and this is from Lawson. They're known for this. Here. It's kind of like Japanese chicken nuggets, I'm guessing. And this flavor is spicy cod roe with mayonnaise. And of course, I had to get Fami Chiki. Onikiri, which is a rice ball. I got it at I got it at Lawson. This is a sour pickled plum. I lived off of this for my first year here in Japan. Love it. Egg and cod roll type of onigiri. I've never tried this before, so I'm really curious about how this tastes. I also have an egg and conger eel and cucumber sushi roll. Excited to try this. Look how thick that is. Yeah. Omu rice or like omelet rice. This is a ramen flavored bag of chips. Ramen. I don't know if you've ever tried ramen flavored chips before, but actually, honestly, I have never tried ramen flavored chips before. So this is exciting. It's like a garlic flavor. I think guys would be into something like this. So we're gonna check that out. I love sour pickled plums, so I also got sour pickled plum flavored ones. But karage Pringles that I talked about. And I have rice crackers here. Actually, this is really good for souvenirs if you want to take it home. It's a Japanese rice cracker and it has soy sauce flavor, cheese flavor, and like a corn soup flavor. It's kind of sweet. I really like this, but I haven't tried the other ones. Okay. Two snacks here for kids. Um, I see the kids at school bring this one all the time. It's called umaibo. And it's kadro flavored. Then we have this big katsu, big katsu, tonkatsu flavored snack. I've actually never tried this before, but a coworker 
tried it and she said it's good but it's high it's most likely very very unhealthy but we'll give it a try as well um sweet potato flavored pastry i'm guessing but it looks like ube back home it's purple yam so let's see if it tastes anything like what we have in the philippines eager to try this so we have dumplings and bean paste so this is warabi mochi this one is mochi covered in roasted soybean and you have your regular mochi and underneath is a bean paste red bean paste a matcha like a green tea whipped cream kind of pudding or custard blonde chocolate and caramel cookie and last but not least rice cakes with sweet bean paste oh, this is a lot drinks so i have here a creamy hojicha latte hojicha is like a roasted tea have another sour plum flavored alcoholic drink so it's basically sour pickled plum with shochu and it's carbonated and just got this because it's really super pretty it's got cherry blossoms in it asahi is one of the biggest beverage companies in japan look at the packaging on this thing isn't it pretty it's so cute um, it's supposed to be for spring and um, it's actually still really cold I guess they're prepared for spring. Let's eat! Tabemasho! Okay, first I'm gonna try this omo rice because I'm really, really hungry. So, itadakimasu. Usually the rice is cooked with ketchup. I'm not really sure. And then it's covered in an omelet, a very, very soft omelet, and drenched in what they call demi glaze sauce. Let's go. It's actually really, really good for, you know, just being convenient store food. It's actually quite good. Mm. Next, we have this rice ball, which I really, really love. I'm going to show you how to open it. It's actually really, really easy. There's a number one here. So first, you take the number one flap, open it like that. Move that and then you look for number two pull that apart and then lastly look for number three and pull that apart and there you have it easy convenient rice ball mm, I can't wait mm. Mm. It's been a while since I had this, so I'm really, really loving it. That's what it looks like inside. Next, I'm gonna try this egg conger eel and cucumber sushi roll. Wow, this is really, look at that. So there's a number one here. And there's a number two, so you're gonna pull that apart. I'm gonna roll it to the part. It's already open. And ta da! You have your sushi roll ready to eat. Excited! Mm. Oh my god! Mmm! 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 Okay, I'm getting this again tomorrow. So good. Mm. Okay. I haven't tried everything, but this might be my number one. Mm. Oh. The hot water is ready. So give me a minute. I'm just gonna get the yakisoba ready. I'm back. Woo. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. This is my first time trying it. It's really good. Not sure what it tastes like. It's not sour. It's not sweet. It's more salty and what they call umami flavor. It's actually pretty good. I recommend this. Just a few more bites. <coughs> oh, I'm actually getting a little full already, but I'm gonna power through. I'm kind of getting a little bit of an allergy. Um, fun fact about me, I'm allergic to good food. I'm not joking. First, I thought it was just in my head until I went to an actual allergologist and told me that it's a rare condition. But when my body enjoys food that I like and I'm happy with it, I get allergies. So please don't mind me if I keep sneezing throughout the rest of the video. <laughs> Next up. They also have a slot for a small toothpick here, but eh, I don't need to use that, I'll just use my hand, I'm at home. My hands are clean. I'm pretty sure it's better when it's hot. It's not too bad. This is a Japanese chicken nuggets. Want to fami chicky. All you need to do is they have this line here, which you open. So you tear it. Ta-da! Easy. Mm. I already know what this tastes like, but I never get tired of it. Mm. I can taste the oil. That's really good. Allergies. I really love anything sour, pickled, plum. Oh, you can smell that sour, pickled plum. Mm. Oh, it definitely tastes like sour, pickled plum. And potato chips. Mm. It made me really thirsty, so I'm gonna choose, of course, sour pickle plum. Because <laughs> I just love it. I'm obsessed. I don't know if this is true, but it's... I've been called a grandma for liking this, like this flavor. Sour plum is not very popular among foreigners here, so... It's kind of rare to find someone like me who's super into it. Um, bite. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yes. So good. I keep forgetting how good this drink is. Yeah, it's very, very sour. A tad bit sweet, but more it's like 95% sour, 5% sweet. Really good. Ramen flavored chips. Oh, you can smell the garlic right off the bat. Mm. Looks like your normal potato chip. Mm. I wouldn't really say it tastes exactly like ramen, but if you say garlic, garlic and that oily um, flavor when you eat ramen, this is definitely it. Not my favorite bag of chips, but still good. Let's give this one a try first. So I'm gonna get um, a teaspoonful of red bean paste, mochi, and whipped cream. Here we go. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. The mochi or the 
I think this is down glow. It's very, very light. It's not super sticky and dense, which is a good touch because the red bean paste is quite creamy. So I really like it. Let's try the warabi mochi. Mm. The warabi mochi's texture is quite different. It kind of has like a jelly-like consistency to it, which is also really good. And next we have this matcha pudding custard thing. I'm gonna take a big teaspoonful of all the layers. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's not custard. It's actually green tea jelly on the bottom. And then you have a strawberry type mousse and then a whipped cream on top. Not bad. Not my favorite. The textures are a little bit strange for me, but the flavors are pretty good. It's, mm, the green tea part is a little bitter and you have the sweet coming from the custard and the strawberry. Last but not least. Mmm, oh wow. Mmm. Ew, 10 out of 10 this one. Mmm. The flavors and textures work really well with each other. Very soft and dense at the top. And then you have this pastry at the bottom. I'm not sure exactly what it is. <sighs> not really good at baking or anything, but it's very crispy and has a bite to it. Like you need to bite through it. So it's really, really nice. And just after that melts, all of it melts in your mouth. Really, really good. Mm. Uh, I'm really sorry, guys. I thought I would be able to power through and just try everything, but I'm so full. I, I can't anymore and my allergies are going insane. So I need to take a rest from this. I promise I'll finish everything, maybe film the rest of it, but for now, I'm tapping out. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until the next video, jane, and see you next time.